Taiwan receives the most disinformation spread by foreign governments globally, according to a recent report from a University of Gothenburg in Sweden. The university conducts this study annually, and Taiwan has topped the list for the last nine years. The most recent incident among the flood of fake news inundating the nation is one that claims that DPP politicians are just like Ukrainian parliamentarians and millionaires who fled their country when war broke out. Whether or not that actually originated from China, Premier Su Zhenchang didn't bother responding to it when asked by a reporter Sunday. The writing on this image claims that 37 Ukrainian parliamentarians and nearly 100 tycoons have fled their nation. Below the image are photos of Taiwan's pro-independence Green Camp politicians, including President Tsai Ing-wen and Premier Su Zhengchang. Its implication is clear, that Taiwanese politicians who are calling to resist China to protect Taiwan would also flee if China attacked. Disinformation about the Russo-Ukrainian war is everywhere, and even Taiwan is being targeted. Every nation in the world sees Taiwan on the front line. We are well prepared for these kinds of disinformation attacks. After I met with the European parliamentary delegation, visitors from other countries said they wanted to exchange experiences with us, as they all said Taiwan does very well in this area. As for all these so-called fleeing politicians, such allegations are not worth refuting. Premier Su had a grave look. Faced with this disinformation war, he didn't bother refuting this piece of disinformation, only because there is so much fake news flooding Taiwan these days. According to a recent report released by the University of Gothenburg in Sweden, the top three countries in the world that receive the most disinformation spread by foreign governments are Taiwan, Latvia and Palestine. Taiwan has topped the list in the university's ongoing study for nine consecutive years. Most of the suspicious ones are clear to the Taiwanese people that they come from China, whose aim is to stir up all-consuming internal political struggles and make us doubt our own democratic system. It's important to see that this is actually a part of asymmetric warfare and that it can't be blocked out. Zeng says China is clever at creating disinformation to harass Taiwan and that Taiwan can draw from the experience of the war in Ukraine to become not only an important player in asymmetric warfare but also fight back if it can learn to identify false information.